Hello YouTube, hi. Welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be my first impression of New World. They recently relaunched a New World with a couple of changes, a couple of additions, um, introduced servers for the console players and cross-play. Um, a lot of little neat stuff here and there, but as someone who has never played New World, I'm going to give you guys my first impression review. This video is about my first impressions of um, New World. Uh, I, I forgive, forgive me if I say this wrong. New World Ar Arturium. I I'm really bad at pronouncing things. Um, so we're going to go with that, okay? We're going to call it Art. New World Relaunch. First impression, right out the gate, I think this game has been severely underrated yeah i'm gonna go with that out of my first impressions uh some of the words that come to mind is life skill underrated um overlooked um and um confused and i'll try to explain why all these things uh, i feel so far I feel that the game is a very underrated, overlooked game. The moment that I jumped into the game, I'm already experiencing things that I haven't really found in an MMO and um, things that make it feel like a full, full-fledged MMO from the very beginning that you log in. It feels really uh, good. If you want a number for my first impression, it's a solid eight out of 10 for first impressions. Now, this number will most likely decrease as I play. Um, if some of the, um, the stories that I've hear about in-game and, uh, and the works, then that eight is probably going to go lower. But I don't know, I haven't experienced that. But so far, it makes me want to experience that. It, wa it makes me want to reach the end game because the game is pretty solid. Um, and, I'll, and here's a, a couple of things that I find the game that does really well. The moment that you jump into the game, you're introduced with this cutscene and this nice little presentation of the story. The voice acting right out the gate is pretty nice. It, the more I continue to play it though, through some of the questing NPCs, Eh, some of them it's very mixed with the voice acting they got some real bangers out here voice actors and actresses but some of them are very missed as well so the voice acting department i feel like it could be a little bit better but for the most part when it's good it's good when it's bad it's bad so i'm gonna give a mixed reaction mixed feelings about voice acting uh the first quest one of, one of the very first quests introduces you to life skilling right there at the beginning that is how they hooked me that's how they got me it is very easy very seamless very easy a detailed explanation on how to do life skilling how to begin life skilling and one of the bigger words that come into mind from my whole journey of playing this game so far is life skilling where the world actually feels like it is alive and like there is something you can do out there when you find a mineral on the ground you're most likely going to be able to pick at it and get stuff out of it to then take it back and craft something with that same thing with the trees every tree that you see can be chopped down and the animation of the tree falling down and a couple of trees missing in the world feels really nice it's very very much like black desert online with its life skilling however black desert online is a little convoluted and I feel like they can simplify it even further, their life skilling and how they introduce life skilling in BDO. But that's a whole different approach to their open world than new world. I feel like life skills are very much integrated in this game compared to BDO. BDO seems more optional. In this game, it doesn't really seem like it's an option, but it's not also something that I hate doing. You know, it, it, it's a good feeling when I life skill um the world feels alive and yes i know it's because it just started there's a lot of players but i'm just talking about the greens the trees the minerals the fishing uh every little thing every little nuance in the game feels alive so when i'm actually looking from on top of a mountain into the abyss i see a tree far away and i feel like i can go there i can chop it uh, chop it down it, it feels really good and though one thing that i feel the game doesn't get a lot of recognition for is its graphics i think the graphics is 
one of the better things in the game in the audio design when you can hear somebody shoot their gun on the left from like really far away and you can hear somebody chopping the tree right behind you and then you can hear somebody mining an ore inside of a cave with the reverb like you can hear all of that by just standing next to a campsite and the, it's it's really immersive you can hear the ruffles and the tree like audio is great uh sans um, some of the mixed voice acting uh feelings about the voice acting um I, I honestly don't think the game gets enough credit for what it does really good. And it is a, a, a world that feels alive. It feels like recently I played Throne in Liberty, though the game is gorgeous. It feels like they're like, I don't want to even go back and do anything of, uh, in the previous zones. You know, it feels like there's no real reason to go back to the beginning zones. There's no, not, the life skilling is absolutely laughable in Throne and Liberty. There is no life skilling. The world just feels dead. Once you get to level 50 and you're trying to push for the next um, mats to push far, further and harder, all the previous zones in the world just feels like there's no real reason to go there. Maybe you'll teleport to fight one boss in some beginning zone, but that's it. I just didn't feel compelled to ever go back. But in New World, I'm catching myself going back, running through the world on my mount. I see a, ooh, ooh, an iron ore. Let me pick this iron ore. Ooh, a silver ore. Ooh, this is thing. And I, I have things that I still haven't even unlocked. So it gives me the drive because I see an ore that I can't grind it yet. I can't mine it yet. And I can only imagine that, that I would be able to do that once I get better weapons, once I get better stuff. And it's in the beginning zones so all of these things still being um, implemented in the beginner zones makes me feel like the world is alive i can go back and forth travel here travel there do this do that i do like the approach of pvp as well by the way yes i have accepted a duel or two and i lost them but um i do like the approach of pvp in this game i thought throne liberty did a really good approach to pvp already um but new world i feel does it even better it's consensual pvp i know that sounds really weird but if i want to play solo and never experience pvp i don't have to and if i want to kind of spice up my day that morning i wake up log into new world if i want to i can turn on pvp and just signal to everybody around me that i'm willing to take a duel that i'm willing to take a fight and I really like that, that, that I don't have to like tip it toe around this certain thing while it's raining and then PvP while I'm trying to grind. Like it's something that I accept as a player if I want to PvP. I, I, I don't know. Like I really like this approach. I think it's pretty nice. It's a pretty happy medium for players who don't want to PvP or players who maybe sometimes want to PvP and players who absolutely want to PvP. There is incentives to PvPing and being flagged up. I believe you get more um, luck, uh, better loots or better spoils or chance at that and more EXP while questing as well, I believe, if you're flagged up. It's what I heard. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Uh, but I really like their approach to PvP. Um, I still haven't gotten to the end game, so I don't know how that's going to like impact my score it probably will i heard that the game suffers a lot in game um that if you are a pvp enjoyer in this game that you're going to have a really difficult time if you're not in the strongest guild which quite honestly i think happens in every pvp game so yeah i don't know um how that's going to play out um and maybe i hear there's a tons of tons of dungeons so i still haven't s sunk my teeth into those but for my first impression review this is a solid 8 out of 10. One of the better new MMOs that I have played. The worst thing about this, there's a couple of, here's some bad things about the game, why it's so low. The price $60 for somebody who is entirely new to the game seems like a big chunk of money. And I still haven't experienced those $60 worth yet. Could it be, um, could it um, pay itself off later with the time invested? Maybe, but right now I'm still not there. $60 is a lot of money to play this new relaunch of the game um, for an entirely new player. And the characters, holy crap. 
I think World of Warcraft ba has better NPCs and characters and cosmetics. I have not seen something that stands out in amazing and awe. The characters look awful. The characters' cosmetics look awful. The NPCs around the world look like they're toothless, homeless people. Like, it's just bad. I can't say anything good about the, the, the characters um, that I'm playing and the NPCs that I'm running into. Um, and one last thing, the animations, the jumping animation, the running animation, this um, uh, sidestepping animations, the animations of movement um, don't look the greatest. And I really don't like that it, I'm locked and rooted with some skills when it comes to combat. I feel like it was, I, I feel like I want something more fast paced. Uh, I'm still very early. I'm still 26 trying to like across as slow as I, I, I am comfortable with. But something about the combat just doesn't jive with me well. I'm probably used to better combat games that are way faster paced. Um, Throne of Liberty, not the greatest combat example, but definitely better than New World so far, and especially early on. Lost Ark, I mean, fluid, smooth combat, and Black Desert Online. I'm comparing New World to these three other um, combat games, and New World just seems to be a little bit on the step below that. Um, but maybe it changes once I get more um, skills unlocked, once I try more weapons. But so far, the animations of the character moving through the world feel a little bit weird. I wish it was more um, smooth. I wish it was better. Jumping off a cliff feels like I'm playing a 20-year-old game, World of Warcraft. It just doesn't feel like it was released three years ago. You know, the animations and stuff looks like they were from a game 20 years ago or from some beta from Ashes of Creation first beta. You know, they just feel really weird. Feels really aged. Um, but yeah, um, let me know what you think. Uh, have you played New World? I'm still playing it. I'm still gonna get to max level and do some of the ra dungeons and raids with the boys. And we'll see what um, uh, how it turns out. So far, eight out of 10, really, really good first impressions. And um, yeah, tell me what you think. Bro, I'm good at yapping, bro. I'm like the best yapper on Twitch. Hello, YouTube. Hey, 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 hey. I know you might be around. Wait, start over. Start all over. Start all over. Boop. Hey, YouTube. I know you may be new around these parts of town. How about you hit that follow button? It really helps me grow as a content creator. Um, calling myself a content creator doesn't sound really good. Um, as a white haired, blue eyed new wife of yours. How about you hit that comment, like, subscribe button? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do yourself a big favor now.